This is Double V for I Cree You Pre TV. Of course, IAS Live Music Review. I have Mr. Kerry D. Singleton in the seat. Somebody say something. something, 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 something. I escape from hell. Storm begins with a calm, it goes out with a calm and wet. I just need to know how is the journey so far? Um, the, literally? Your journey. <laughs> I can't complain. Life is good right now. I'm very interested to talk to you about a gentleman by the name of Reggie Watson. Oh, okay. That journey. I want to. I want to <laughs> speak about Mr. Reggie Watson. Who is he? Okay, so he's a fictitious character. A lot of people think it's a pseudonym for me, but it's not. Okay. Uh, he's the lead character in my first novel, which uh, was called The Wanderer's Game. That was my debut novel. Came out in 2013, and the book is uh, about uh, a guy named Reggie Watson, mm -hmm. Watson from Jersey, who uh, he's an aspiring actor. He moved to New York City to pursue his illustrious dreams of being like the next Denzel Washington and okay. well he feels uh, like he gotta pay them bills in the meantime and his choice of collecting coins is by doing strange things for change. So he's a male that's for it. Oh my god, yeah. if Ladybug was here, strange things for change. Yeah. I can't, I cannot, I cannot right now. Yes. Alright, so you say Reggie's fictitious. Yes. However, I promise however, you how, fictitious. How, how did this fictitious character come from Jersey? Okay, so first and foremost, The Wanderer's Game was initially a poem that I wrote. Okay. Right? poem that I wrote about uh, the world of male escorting, and that's something that I've never experienced myself, but when I first moved to New York City 25 years ago, in 1996, I um, had friends, I can't name people because that would be wrong. I, I mean, you could name them. I, I wouldn't. I mean, but I, I wouldn't. Why, why is it wrong? Well, because one of them is actually a recording artist now, so I don't okay. want to put him on blast at that. But let's just say, okay. fair to say, I was introduced, I have roommates that okay. live in the Bronx, and I have roommates um, some of whom did strange things for change. And so a lot of the stories that uh, that Reggie Watson goes through, a lot of his journey, All right. is actually uh, based on real stories, uh, personal stories that I witnessed. So not so fictitious. No, <laughs> but I mean, there you know, it's it's, it's a jambalaya of of different stories. I've so, never seen anything like it. Well, I'll say, nothing, I, nothing I, I'll, like I'll say this too. So, so the Wanderers game became a book. First, it was a poem. Then it became a book. Then, it, then it became a Broadway play. A uh, shout out to uh, my, my, one of my best friends, Alvin Alexander, who directed the play. Um, it was actually on Broadway. It was so dope to have my book on stage, you know, in, in a theatrical form. And then uh, in 2020, I decided to put out a collection of all the poems that I had written, okay. called Journey the Poems, mm -hmm. right? And Journey of the Poems is a collection of 29 autobiographical poems and The Wanderer's Game, so it's 30. Uh, so what we decided to do, because that was the poem that kind of started my literary career. Mm -hmm. The Wanderer's Game. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? She's looking at me like, mm, are you sure your middle name's not Reggie or something? No, I'm no, just kidding. Oh, I'm I, just kidding. I cannot with I'm this guy. Kidding. Nah, nah. A whole bunch of other things are going through my mind, but oh, we're going to okay. talk about it. So, That's what we're here for. So, we're going to talk about it. So we decided to put a poetry book together called Journey the Poems, right? And then later on, we decided, uh, we meaning my producer in Philadelphia, uh, Jermaine Quick, decided to uh, compose a spoken word album using five of the poems from the poetry book, including The Wanderer's Game. So then I got with D20 Productions, which is a film production company out of New York City, and we decided to do short films or videos to promote the Spoken Word album in the same way a rapper or a singer would. And so uh, the first video that we released um, from the project is called The Wanderer's Game, which actually stars um, a former adult entertainer, I guess is the, the politically correct. The, the main character? Yes, the main character in, in the video for The Wanderers Game is actually a former adult entertainment star, not just 
a adult entertainer, but he actually became a, a star in the adult film industry. A porn star. I'm trying really hard to politically correct. Yeah, a porn star. Yeah, yeah. So the guy is a porn star. That's that. No, he's a former. Former porn star. How do you become a former porn star? Well, he's decided that he doesn't want to do that anymore. That's a whole bad story. Doesn't want to do that. Porn. Tonight it's you in Atlanta. Tomorrow in DC. Much the same. So understand that I'm just a player in the Wanderers game. Love Club is not exclusive, but membership has a fee. For many have fallen in love with the eyes that you now see.